Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial here in Photoshop. My name is Brian Lee. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that I get a lot of questions on, which is color. Um, so I'm going to go be going over my main way of changing colors, basically for anything. A lot of times you're going to be faced with a client giving you some images of their rooms, and uh, you're obviously going to want to create decor for that room but you also want to show them that you're customizing that room for them. So you want to work with what's already there. And maybe they have red trim or purple trim or, I don't know, some kind of crazy trim that you want to replicate or at least show that you tried. In this example, we are starting with this beige tinted trim, but what if we wanted to turn that into red or purple? And so today I want to show you guys my favorite way of changing colors in a room. So today we're going to be using the living room design kit just to show this example. However, you can use this technique on almost any Photoshop element out there. So here we have the kit. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to go to walls. I'm going to go into the left wall and then I'll double click on our left wall layer. All right. So we have our windows here. We have our trim layers here, our wall shadows and our wall texture. For this example, I'm just going to be changing the color of the windows and the trim. So let's start with the trim. I'm going to go into molding. Keep in mind, uh, some of this may be changing depending on which version of the living room design kit you have. For people in the future, this may be looking a little different. Um, all right, so we have both our bottom and top trims. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and select these. But before I do that, I'm going to turn off my guides. I'm going to hit Command H to do that. So now I'm going to Command click on the trim top, and that's going to make the selection. Then I'm going to hit Command Shift, click on the trim bottom. Then I'll go into Windows. I'm going to turn this light off. And then on the frame layer, I'm going to hit Command Shift again to add to my selection and then we'll go into the other window command shift frame all right so now i have all of my room trim selected which is great so now i'm just going to close these down just to simplify things a bit i'll make a new layer and let's go ahead and change the color to i don't know what uh, let's let's do like a brownish maybe like a more of a wooden kind of texture all right so let's uh, choose that color hit OK and that's on my front so I'm gonna go to the paint bucket tool and now that I have all that selected I'm gonna go ahead and click and so that changed all my trim to the color that I wanted however the problem is that you can no longer see the tone that is under the color. So this is my color layer. Let's just go ahead and name that color. Right, so you can't see that there is actual detail underneath that color anymore. So what I want to do is make sure I have my color layer selected. I'm going to go here to the blending modes. I'm going to go to color. And you can see how it updated everything to be a color brown. So one of the issues you may notice is that it's not the color we started with. You know, maybe I wanted this ex exact color, exact tone, but you can see it's very light colored. So in order to change the tone of the color, we actually have to change the tone of the layers underneath the color layer. So you can see that I have the selection still made. So to change the tone of the, of the framing, I'm just going to go to my adjustment layers and choose curves. And I'm just going to bring down the tone of these frames and trim. So you can see that the color stays, but the actual tone underneath them is changing. So it's a pretty cool effect um, if you want to, you know, really dial in the color and the tone that you want. And that's basically it, guys. Um, cool. So let's, uh, let's now go to the master comp. So we'll save this. Command S. 
control tab. And you can see that we have updated our wooden trim on the left side here. Um, so it's really as simple as that, guys. That's, that's how easy it is to change the color of pretty much anything. So I hope you learned a lot in this tutorial, especially about color. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions at all. You can leave a comment below, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and receive new tutorials every week that will help you master Photoshop for interior design. Thanks again for joining me, and we'll see you next time.